Hey YouTube, this is Doug Green Caddy, and today we're going to show you how to quickly and easily get rid of a soap emulsion while making biodiesel. You always want to beware of putting too much caustic in your biodiesel mix. When you put too much caustic, you will make lots and lots of soap requiring lots of washes to get it out. So whenever you put your caustic in, make sure that you do your titrations and make sure you do your calculations correctly so that you don't have a big batch of soap. Uh, we went ahead and actually titrated this into the soap test uh, with the isopropyl alcohol and the bromothaline and uh, our soap content was actually 1536 parts per million when we're actually shooting for 35 to 60 parts per million. So that's about 1500 percent or 1500 parts per million difference. Uh, and the reason that is is because we didn't hook up our lamp on our new reactor and we didn't see the line of the glycerin so we actually doubled the amount of caustic we put in there which was a big no-no. So hopefully our mistake will help you learn that you don't want to make a big batch of soap. You want to make a big batch of biodiesel. As you look in the top, it is all completely white. Right, it's creamy, murky, and it's all completely 100% soap. Now previously, uh, they wanted to just get rid of the whole 80 gallons of biodiesel. And uh, with research, we've actually found that you can actually do 16 cups for an 80 gallon batch, 16 cups of salt to five gallons of hot water. And within an hour, this should be easily divided with your soap layer, your water layer, and your biodiesel layer. You just need to make sure that you do a, salt, uh, a regular water wash afterwards uh, because salt uh, is actually drawn to water and it hates uh, biodiesel or oil. So it allows you to be able to uh, quickly and easily wash that salt out so that you don't get corrosion in your engines. As you see here, you can start to see the line starting to form. I just put in the salt in the water and it's already starting to form uh, the layer where it's cutting the soap. It's been about 45 minutes and now you can see the clear line between the soap and the biodiesel. And if you see here, so it's sitting at about 27 and a half uh, gallons. And basically uh, we usually do about a 20, to 25 gallon wash and then we had to add the five gallons of the salt water wash to go ahead and break it up and so as you see now it's not super duper cloudy and uh, what we're going to do is uh, after we go ahead and drain the salt water wash then we have to regular water wash it to go ahead and get any kind of residual soaps out so that we can make sure that we have clean diesel with no soaps that will corrode our engine Subscribe now to get all our new green content first. Also check out how to make biodiesel large scale, how to do biodiesel glycerin methanol distillation, or check out our green living playlist for all of the green living stuff that we enjoy. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.